Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I thought we'd sit down and do something really fun today. I'm always looking for opportunities to share more of my life with you, different facets of my life. And as I was falling asleep the other day, I thought, hmm, wouldn't it be great uh, to talk about some of my, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, in short, stuff in my bucket list. You know, if you're not familiar with the term of a bucket list, it's kind of like um, things you want to achieve um, before you die, in a way. So, as morbid as that sounds, it is kind of a list of your goals and aspirations that you want to attain in life, and sometimes they change. Um, you know, a bucket list is not like set in stone or anything, but it's something to look forward to, something to work towards, and I thought it would be a great way for us to get to know each other, especially as you're watching this video, I encourage you to leave me a comment down below and let me know if we share some of the similar goals and aspirations in our lives, all right? And maybe this will be a bit of an inspiration video to you as well. So I have a whole bunch of them written on my phone. So let's get started. I would really love to visit a super southern state um, in the U.S. Somewhere like maybe Texas or Louisiana or I don't know, just somewhere where it's real country, you know, I love country music so that definitely um, inspires me a lot and I've never been anywhere super down south so that's certainly an aspiration over there. But number two, on top of that, when I'm there, I would most definitely go and sing in a country karaoke bar and I would either sing um, Keith Urban or I would sing something uh, Brad Paisley that's always fun. Um, but yeah, something fun and upbeat and I, I would love to go. I would also really love to be a bunny mama. As you know by the name of this channel, P Bunny P, I really like rabbits and I think it would be so fun to own a little bunny one day. Probably, I was kind of looking into things as I always do and um, most of my Instagram is all about bunnies. But I think I would love to own a little lop ear bunny or maybe a lop and netherland mix. They're, they're small, they're fluffy, they're so lovable, they're so curious and always just a little bit mischievous. So bunnies is, are definitely um, kind of on my bucket list. Um, on top of that though, on the other hand, I would also love to own a dog at some point. Um, top choice, either a beagle or a pom-pom, aka the Pomeranian. I love, I don't know, I can't decide. I think I think palms are super adorable, obviously, but beagles are so smart, but they're a little bit derpy, and that appeals to me a lot as well. But um, at the same time though, I know that beagles are hunting dogs, and rabbits are prey, and it's probably not smart to have them both at the same time in my life, but at some point, hopefully, I get to fulfill all three wishes. When it comes to things I want to learn, um, a third language is definitely in my bucket list or on my bucket list in? We'll think about that, but a third language. Um, as you guys know, I speak English as I'm talking to you. I also speak uh, various dialects of Chinese. Um, I didn't do that well in French in school, so I won't count any of that, but I would love to learn a third language, probably Italian, with the reason being that I am very much into classical literature as well as classical artworks. So knowing Italian, I feel like would make a lot of these things much more authentic to me. But on top of that, one of the reasons I would like to learn Italian is that I would love to read some of the um, classical works in their original languages, um, either Latin or Italian. I don't think I'm ever going to attain Latin, so we'll just go with the, uh, the second choice down. But I would love to read, say, Dante's Inferno, otherwise known as uh, the Divine Comedy, in uh, a more authentic language. I think that would be fun, right? And very rewarding. Speaking of artworks, though, um, you know, a lot of people have aspirations to go to Europe and to visit all the great museums, and as do I. But in particular, I always dreamed of going to the Tate, and I believe it is Tate Museum that they have a Mark Rothko room. He is my favorite kind of more modern artist. I'm not super into modern, postmodern art, you know, anything kind of 20th century gets me a little bit confused, but I love 
um, Mark Rothko's work. They are so emotive, they are so simplistic but powerful, and I could just sit there and just be enveloped in kind of the atmosphere of, of a uh, Rothko piece. I've, I've once seen um, one of his works when I was down in Los Angeles at the, um, I believe is the MoMA, the Modern Art Gallery, and it was spectacular. So I love to be in a place where you have all his paintings and all his works, and I just sit there for like an hour or two. But on to more lifestyle things though, I think it would be um, great fun and rewarding to grow my own vegetable garden. Now, my mother is super into gardening, so she's always you know, making things happen, but I would love a s small to medium size contained garden. So I would grow them in kind of raised garden beds with the little um, wooden boxes or whatnot around them so they're not like grown crazy everywhere. I would actually grow more simple things that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis, some herbs, um, some vegetables, maybe, you know, things like that. Nothing too crazy, but I think it will be super rewarding to have a vegetable garden and on top of that i think you know just plant flowers like flowers vegetables and just make a great atmosphere um which leads me to the next one which is i'd love to have a organized beautiful multifunctional backyard so i've been pinteresting a lot the past couple of weeks maybe a month or two if if you've been reading my blog post i talked about that um in a earlier blog post, I've been Pinteresting, I've been seeing all these wonderful layouts for backyards. I'm saying it now, I am never going to have a boring, just straight up and down grass backyard. Like I want a little pool in there, I want like a little deck space, I can do some yoga or attempt to do some yoga, you know, just a great place to hang out and be multifunctional. And my pets can go out in the backyard as well, so that would be great fun. When it comes to things you want to own, I think cars are either hit or miss. Some people really care what type of car that they have and other people just drive whatever that takes them on the road and doesn't break down. Um, but I think it's nice to have car dreams as well. Let me know what you guys drive or what would be your dream car in a way. I would love, love to own a um, Mazda MX-5, which is a little Miata. I would have it in red. I'm actually quite into sports cars, although I, I'm too chicken to ever race it or go anywhere fast. But I love the aesthetic of them, I love how they look, and I would absolutely have it in red. No other color, if it doesn't come another color, I would get it custom painted, it has to be red. And it's not like a, like a dusty red or some kind of, you know, drab color, it has to be super banging, nail polish, bright, fire engine red. That would be my dream car. Um, either that or... I don't know, maybe a Mustang. I've been seeing a lot of Mustangs around here lately as well, and they, they do have a certain appeal. They're a little bit more masculine than what I would like, but they are certainly on the consideration of the bucket list as well. Now, it wouldn't be fair to end a bucket list without talking about food. Food is a big part of my life. I love to eat. I was just um, thinking last night, you know, okay, I'm going to bed, great, I can't wait to wake up again so I can make breakfast and eat. Eating is a great pleasure in life, not just a necessity. And I, I love to have a beautiful kitchen. It doesn't have to be a big kitchen, but a beautiful kitchen with, you know, all the equipment so I can make all this food even though I have a tiny stomach. Um, it's just fun to cook, I think, or let me know if you feel the same way. But on top of food and eating though, I was watching this short documentary the other day about um, kind of someone traveling in Japan and taking the train. So I love taking the train as well. I think it's it's a very uh, a much slower but more authentic way to travel. So they say that in Japan, when you take the train at different stations, they have special uh, bentos, so like little box lunches that you can buy. That's a, a regional specialty, particular to that station. And I think that would be a great thing to put on my bucket list. I'm going to end with that. Um, that, you know, at some point, maybe in the next couple years, we take a trip, we take the train, we stop at all the places and pick up all the different bentos. And of course, I would blog about it if they've got Wi-Fi. But I mean, it's Japan. They have 
technology everywhere, right? So yes, I think this wraps up my bucket list. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was fun. And perhaps we share some similar items on our list as well. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you next time in another video. Keep on dreaming. Bye.